Hi guys, Dan Ferret here with another PSA. This one is not going to be long at all. This is about scammers. And I'm not going to talk about any individual scammer because that's silly. But this is more towards the newer people in the fandom. Which I think a lot of my PSAs are going to end up being towards newer people in the fandom. But, guys, do not discredit the value of joining beware groups, keeping track of scammers in the fandom, and staying away from them. We have beware groups for a reason. We have them on Tumblr, we have them on Facebook, we have them on LiveJournal. The Ars Beware LiveJournal is great. It is a great place. It is very inclusive of pretty much anyone you can think of who has a problem. They've probably been recorded there. Facebook is also really good too. I'm in many Beware groups on Facebook and I feel like I know everything. I feel like I'm just like, oh yeah, I, I know who that person is. I've known who that person is for like three months now. Push. Don't get your money stolen or, you know, your heart broken or whatever by someone who you could have known about if you have, if you just joined a group and did a little research. Do the research on someone you plan to commission. Do, do the research by um, finding previous customers of that person. Do everything you can to make sure you have all the information you need. Don't lose your money because of ignorance. Don't, don't, just, just try. Just try your best. Also, never send money through PayPal by friends and family. Ever. Ever, 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 ever. I don't care if it's your bestest, best, best, best friend in the whole, whole, whole wide world. Don't do it. Because PayPal will not help you. Friends and family is completely unprotected. So if anything happens, anything at all, PayPal will just say, nope, on your own, kid. And that's the end of it. Do not do business with a minor. Because that's also against PayPal's TOS. And they may also say, we're not helping you. Goodbye. Don't put yourself at risk by doing things that are easily avoidable. But the friends and family thing is the big one. Also, if someone tells you to pay the PayPal fees, they explicitly tell you that. Run. <laughs> There's a problem. Sellers are not allowed to tell you to pay the PayPal fee. These are big red flags that are really simple and easy to spot. Now, it's not against the rules for them to have you pay the PayPal fees, but it is against the rule for them to tell you you're doing it. For example, it's okay for them to tack on an extra five, ten dollars onto something in anticipation for fees, but they have to tack on that five to ten dollars to everyone. If they're paying through PayPal, if they're paying through cash, money order, doesn't matter. They cannot just charge that 5 to $10 to people using PayPal alone. A lot of credit card companies have the same rule. You can't do that. You also cannot tell them, there's an extra $3.69 for PayPal fees. So add that on. They're not allowed to do that. And you can tell them, you told me the price is $30. I'm not paying $33.69 because you said, because it's for PayPal fees. Because that's not the price you quoted me. And that's against PayPal's TOS. And if they argue with you, just stop the transaction. Just walk away. Don't deal with people like that whose goal is to break the rules. Do not deal with scammers, okay? 
just don't. It will save you a lot of grief, and it will save a lot of people a lot of grief. If you do run into a scammer, let people know. Even if you have the sense to get away from the situation, let people know that person's out there. Bewares are there to help others, not just to get advice for yourself. So, just be smart. Be smart when shopping. Do not send through friends or family. And help your fellow man when it comes to people who do shady stuff. Okay, guys? Just be careful with your money. Because money is important. And it's valuable. Because it's money. And with that, I'll see you guys later. Bye!